All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here, check it out. So I know the, the screen's overexposed, and I want it to be that way. Um, so I'm sitting out here at my range, actually. Just be, please forgive us for the noise. They're doing some improvements out here, which I'm really glad they are. But uh, I wanted to show you an, an amazing rifle. This was sent to the channel by Ethan Manning, uh, Manning & Sons. I'm going to put the link down below to his YouTube channel. He's one of those guys that actually deals in Wilson Combat, JP, uh, Atlas. Uh, firearms uh, or gun works uh, a lot of the higher end stuff the CZs if you want a CZ that's been Cajunized I uh, actually just got one back from uh, Cajun gun works uh, the P01 steel frame so really looking forward to uh, putting that to its uh, to the test here in a little bit and showing you a comparison before and after but the cool thing is is that he takes the initiative to go ahead and send these things off to Cajun Gun Works so you don't have to wait for it. But in any case, he sent this thing out to the channel. Uh, this thing's topped off with a uh, Night Force NSX 5.5-22. 5, 5 Beautiful scope. But let's talk about the rifle. This is a Wilson Combat Super Sniper. And uh, honestly, I, re I really don't... I'm, just, I'm not doing a full-blown review on this thing. But what I am doing is I just want to show you something. Now, on an occasion, we do get some good, I mean, just unbelievable firearms that are out here. So real quickly, let's just go from the front to back. Uh, basically, you've got a billet upper and lower. These things are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the Wilson Combat Tactical Grade Match Barrel. We got a rifle length gas system. It's an adjustable low pro gas block. Uh, the threaded muzzle is a, called a Q-Comp. Uh, the Wilson Combat, this is a 14-inch uh, what they call a trim rail and it's got a QD attachment point right here it is an M lock absolutely beautiful usually these things don't come with a PRS Gen 2 stock they do come with what they call a Rogers Wilson super stock it's equipped with a trigger that's probably one of the smoothest triggers I've ever had the pleasure of pulling up pulling in. and the reason I'm you'll see later on we're gonna zero this thing in is that I am putting one round in at a time because with the recoil of this firearm, if you've got multiple rounds in here, I've had some inadvertent double taps. And at a dollar a piece, these rounds, uh, these are the 147 grain ELDs. Uh, I really can't afford too many of those. Bolt carrier group in this thing is what they call their uh, premium bolt. It's in and magnetically partly inspected. It's got an MP3 coating. It is just absolutely gorgeous. The finish on this guy is one of the best I've ever seen. This is, uh, and one of my good friends, Mel, he would be really, really jealous because it is like an olive drab, and it's beautiful. It's uh, I call it an armor tough uh, finish. Uh, of course, it's got the Wilson Combat grip right here. It also has a Veltor BCM uh, charging handle, which is one of my favorite charging handles. I believe this looks like a uh, about a Mod 4. Uh, I can't tell you which one it is, but absolutely incredible. I've had some difficulty in getting this thing zeroed in simply because the, the scope is not doing what it's supposed to do, and I'm not downplaying that. But uh, it did, this rifle does come with a beautiful cut carrying case right there as well as one Lancer magazine. Let me put that down so you can see what it looks like. It's got it clear with the metal inserts. It will uh, function with the uh, mag pulls. So basically that's it. Uh, the, the controls are just basic AR style controls. But man, what a beautiful gun. One of the most impressive parts is it, it's just machining is absolutely incredible as well. It is it's just smooth. It's like it's any other Wilson Combats, uh, like the, EX, uh, the EXD9, or whatever it's called. Um, just as smooth as, as a baby's rear end. So it does come with a Picatinny rail section up here. Uh, these things are not numbered, but they are cut through all the way across. Other than that, man, this is just an absolute beautiful gun. It's been a pleasure to shoot. You do have a QD attachment point right here on the back. And uh, guys, that's basically it. This is a real quick overview of the Wilson Combat Super Sniper. And again, 6.5 Creedmoor. You're gonna reach out to a thousand yards without any problems with this guy. Unbelievable. We're gonna do a little music video here. This thing is absolutely unreal. And it's nice that uh, Ethan sends these things out to the channel so we can test them out. But anyway, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free. Sorry for the overexposure, but we had to highlight what this rifle looks like. Y'all be good. Take care. Let's go ahead and pick a new target. Put three rounds on it, and we'll save the rest of these for the long range.
Top left again. She's pulling left. All right. Hmm. It does come with a uh, Picatinny uh, rail section up here, but really I'm trying to work here. A upper and lower or billet. This is a really nice five, two. Just goes there. All right, guys, good old boy 32 here checking out. Get your sunglasses on <laughs> because I'm out here at my shooting range. And one of the things that you'll see right here in front of me, this is. I just can't catch a bird, can I? 